Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and this time around I'm reviewing the sequel to Iron Man, and that is, of course, Iron Man 2. Now, Iron Man 2 kicks off with the story of the last film, really. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Tony Stark is Iron Man. Tony Stark is the big, important guy. Um, he's a creator, a builder, an industrialist. Uh, so he's like, well known, he's a billionaire, you know, he's known all over the world. And um, at the end of the film, which is the start of Iron Man 2, he's given a press conference. And this press conference is describing what happened and all that. And he reveals himself as Iron Man. Iron Man 2 starts off with uh, the news report, really, of uh, what happened at the end of the first film. And there's a person watching this news report... And that person just happens to be the bad guy in uh, Iron Man 2. So, the bad guy in the film is Whiplash, who is played by Mickey Rourke. And Mickey Rourke plays Ivan Venko. I hope that's how you spell it. He is a Russian... Uh, I think he's a physicist. But he's a guy who knows a lot about chemicals and elements and uh, physics and compounds and all that sort of stuff. So... He's a bit of an engineer as well. Yeah, you could say he's almost like the equivalent of Tony Stark. However, he's Russian and he's not a billionaire. Now, Ivan Venko will formerly be known as Whiplash simply because uh, Whiplash's dad, Mr. Venko, I forgot his dad's name, um, he doesn't play much of a role really in the film. Uh, but his dad was a co-creator of the arc reactor who worked alongside Howard Stark which is Tony Stark's dad so the two dads of the characters worked alongside each other and uh, Ivan Venko is a bit pissed because his dad did not get any recollection and uh, Tony Stark's all I am Iron Man look at this blur sort of thing okay. of course he wants to get a Tony Stark in uh, to get some recollection for his dad, really, who helped get Tony Stark to where he is today. Honestly, I thought Mickey Rourke was a good character. At the time of when Iron Man 2 was made, he was like the man of the moment. He did The Wrestler, he did a great performance in that, and now he is Whiplash, and he's done a really good job of it. Uh, he's a believable Russian character. He's got sort of the tattoos, the physique, and yeah, he, he portrays Whiplash really well. So it was good really to see Mickey Rourke as that sort of character. You've got people uh, reprising their role as well. Uh, obviously you've got Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. He's back as Iron Man. Pepper Potts, which is Gwen Ith, Paltrow. John Favreau, who is the director. He is also Iron Man's like chauffeur, bodyguard, head of security. Uh, so yeah, he plays Happy. Another introduction to Iron Man 2 is Scarlett Johansson. Uh, and she is the Black Widow. She's also infiltrating as a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. You've also got a cameo from Samuel L. Jackson, who of course is Nick Fury. And Agent Coulson, uh, he pops in, uh, he does a little cameo as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, introduction of uh, Black Widow, Whiplash in uh, Iron Man 2, which is pretty cool. In Iron Man 2, there's also another bad guy who works alongside uh, Whiplash. Uh, he is John Hammer, who is the star of... Uh, Hammer Industries, who has decided to take charge and uh, provide weapons for the United States government. Um, little does he know, he's a smart guy, uh, but he's not as smart as Ivan Venko, Whiplash, Mickey Rourke. And uh, he gets Whiplash out of prison and into the United States to create all these drones. Or Whiplash wants them to be drones. John Hammer wants them to be uh, another Iron Man almost, uh, whereas uh, Venko decides that they're going to be drones. So they have a bit of an argument about that almost. His uh, fighting is almost equivalent. He's creating weapons for the army, and Tony Stark, who did in the first film create weapons for the army, and now Hammer and Venko are working together to destroy Tony Stark. I did forget to mention in the character introduction that Donald Cheadle is War Machine, who is like the silver version of uh, Iron Man. So he's a diff he's a new character really, he was in the old one, 
in an Iron Man. However, he was played as a different character then. Uh, but yeah, Donald Cheadle, he's pretty cool. He's an all actor. And uh, yeah, it's uh, introduction of War Machine in uh, this film. So yeah, there's uh, some good, good character uh, chemistries. Obviously, Robert Downey Jr. and uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, Pepper Potts, and Iron Man. Uh, they worked together again. Uh, John Favreau, as well as his mate and head of security, who's also the director, they all work as a big ball war machine as well. Uh, he's in the army, and he's like a captain. And uh, obviously, they have a bit of a clash moment. I think it's because uh, Rudy, his mate, is in one of his suits. Uh, so there's a bit of you know, I'm going to take one of your suits and I'm going to kick your ass with it, and you're going to smile afterwards, sort of. Uh, brotherly friendly bonding going on between them two but you know it's War Machine and War Machine's a big character in the Iron Man franchise really it's it's a better film than Iron Man I think uh, it progresses along with the health and the well-being of Tony Stark because in this film he's not very healthy due to all the crap that's in his body and also the machine like the whole Iron Man suit it's, it's a good film it does lead up to uh, obviously more introduction and uh, character push of Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson. Uh, War Machine as well, he's getting a push in the whole Marvel uh, possible appearance in the Avengers film. Two big character pushes in uh, Iron Man 2. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is awesome as uh, Iron Man once again. You see him in a different suit uh, a few times. Uh, his health and the backstory. Uh, but yeah. Pretty cool Iron Man 2. If you've seen the first Iron Man, I did do a review of it. I'll put a link down below. RDJ is back as Iron Man. Uh, so is Gwyneth Paltrow. Happy is back in it as his mate and head of security. Who John Farrow, he also directs the film. There's explosions, fights, uh, the odd comedy with RDJ, of course. Uh, Mickey Rourke is a kick-ass whiplash character. Top film, once again, better than Iron Man. Uh, leads into uh, the Avengers introduction of two big characters as well. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool film. If you like RDJ, Gwyneth Paltrow, John Favreau, Mickey Rourke, uh, Donald Cheadle. Uh, if you like Nick Fury and Samuel L. Jackson in his character, then you'll enjoy this. Anything to do with the Avengers and Iron Man, you'll love it of course. Uh, if you've seen the first Iron Man, then of course you've got to see the sequel, which is Iron Man 2. Um, but yeah, pretty cool film overall, enjoyed it. Um, I've added it to my Marvel Blu-ray collection uh, but yeah, well worth checking out guys also don't forget use promo code TOBYWTD for any We The Devoted gear but yeah, thank you very much for watching my review of Iron Man 2 hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching